Say hi to the people. Hey, how's it going? And uh, we are live on I Wanna Was a Good Day. Uh, thank you, Bear, for providing the stream for some week. I believe this is five uh, PMA LCS action. Tears, no problem, no problem. Uh, featuring TBR versus Y'all. Now, TBR, are, at this point, is looking for a win. Uh, they're still, they still aren't out of playoffs. We still have close to about a little bit more than half the season to go. And honestly speaking, if they can pick it up here, uh, they definitely have a potential of grabbing that uh, coveted eighth, I'm sorry, uh, that coveted eighth place seed uh, in order to make that little playoff berth. So they need to start the run, and they need to start it today. Yeah, it's just a lot of disparity going on in that bottom half. This team, they're two and six, a three and five team. Hey, uh, can we get our Sebastian to our sub to our team channel, please? Thank you. Uh, yeah. Sorry. Possible, that's true. We're gonna do right. some Discord text. Sorry about that, y'all, but, uh, but in any case, uh, yeah, I, I agree. There's a lot of disparity right now, but, uh, you know, there's still a very high chance of them making that playoff berth if they can kind of, like, you know, get it together and, you know, put a couple of wins on their belts. Maybe instead of, you know, like the 0-2 losses that we've seen them have in the past couple of weeks, hey, you know, going 1-1, one and one, pick up a 2-0 here and there. They definitely have the potential to do it. I mean, their roster isn't isn't that weak by any means. So I think it's it's just finding the team chemistry to, like, really bring it, uh, bring it all together here. Uh, for TBR, but on the flip side, we have uh, you are losing lane, aka y'all. Uh, good middle of the bracket team right now. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think they're 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 pretty much like the standard right now of uh, of the middle of the bracket. I believe they are currently fourth seed. Uh, they're actually uh, two and six right now. Oh, they're two and y'all really. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I haven't checked the, the standings in a while, but, uh, so, you know, I guess the same thing can be said for y'all, is actually we're already into pick ban phase. Yeah. Ooh, they already been, they already started. Yeah, I, mean, I, was, uh, I was already, I was up. looking at that, but, uh, on TBR side, we see a Cassiopeia ban, more than likely for C van, we have a Nocturne ban, a J4 ban, and a York ban on the side of y'all so far. So the Cassiopeia band double targets as well. Nate plays Cassiopeia mid, along with things like Zareth, Galio, stuff like that if he's not playing top. We see Ezreal band, again, just kind of targeting out C-Van. Mm -hmm. Now, that's pretty interesting because Ezreal doesn't have the double tier build anymore. We are on patch 9.6, so the double, double tier build is dead. Uh, but I guess Ezreal still has a lot of power spike, uh, even without the double tiers. Mm -hmm. Actually, interesting Nami ban targeting out the substitute wheels in the bus right there. Mm. Banning Ezra though is still leave champions like Kaisa and Caitlyn open. I don't know if that's a huge first rotation priority. The Lucian uh, Braum is still available. Mm -hmm. That is also true. However, I don't know if wheels on the bus plays the, the Braum. That much coveted Vi pickup right there for the side of Bung and Restless, and then mm, Insta Lock Morgana and Kaisa, like we were talking about earlier. Yeah, and and the thing about it is that that Morgana is so flexible, which is one of the reasons why uh, it's so highly sought after in this league, is because you can send her mid, and most of the time she'll be able to do well, and then you know you can put her bot lane uh, to just be an anti CC uh, machine to your AD carry. So uh, that Morgana, I, I definitely agree with that first pick. And there was a, they were a quick two uh, two picks as well. They didn't really think about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Morgana's banned in 67% of our games right now, which is that makes a little sense. ridiculous. <laughs> that makes sense. But uh, so we see the Vi and the Lulu pick up here from TBR. Lulu being one of the main champions, if not the main champion aside Nami for Wheels on the Bus, who is going to be uh, supporting uh, as a substitute today. Mm -hmm. Uh, we also see the Sivir pick up, of course. If Sivir is still up, you pick her because it's PMA LCS. Yeah, it's, I mean, it gives them T5 potential. It's good with Vi. It does get kind of hairy against Kaisa after about two items, though. Mm. Then if, yeah, I like that Sejuani picking right there. A little bit more lockdown, some feel for Kaisa. Yeah, already we start to see a lot of, uh, of engage options on the side of y'all. The Vi, 
uh, is going to be piloted by Menbung, so I can definitely see him getting into a lot of scenarios where uh, where he is the engage option. But I think having another engage option in the top lane now that you you know you have the Lulu support is going to be what TBR is looking for right now. As we see the Swain ban on the side of y'all, and then the Rumble ban as well. Yeah, we've got a lot of those heavy engage tanks still up too. We've got Scion, Malphite, yeah, Malphite. Yeah, Malphite. Mm -hmm. Got mm -hmm. all the standards up there, Orn as well. So yeah. there's that Scion man. Yep. Yeah, yeah, the Scion man. Probably one of the uh, one of the only real uh, quote unquote engage options in Hillary Clinton's pool. As we see the Ari ban. I'm sorry, no, the Ari. He does play the Cled still. We'll see if that comes out. Oh yeah, he actually does still play the Cled. Yeah, they can flex that in mid as well. The Cled mid, really? Is that a thing? Yeah. Chocobo plays it. Does he really? I, I, I actually didn't know that. Huh. Well, it'll be interesting to see if they do, but uh, so right now TBR is going to be looking for their last two pickups, Ooh, the LeBlanc, LeBlanc pickup. Hmm. So a little bit of an assassin option, so damage won't really be missed out here on TBR. So what's left is more than likely going to be their top lane pick here. Oh, yeah, uh, I, I honestly. I think I'm like a Maokai or something here. Now, an Urgot wouldn't be bad here either, but no, we see a Vladimir pickup. Yeah, aside from Vi and the server speed up, they're kind of lacking in terms of that hard engage, though. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be really hard to pick them off, especially with the Morgana, Sejuani, Ari, and we're missing the top lane pickup for y'all right here as well, but it doesn't really. Well, let me start getting some peel here. They've already got huge damage out of Kaisa and Ori. <laughs> I was gonna say they lack some sort of a frontline, but at the same time, Lulu Sivir is just so beefy to try to kill that. And also, the Vladimir is just, he has the W to keep him extra lot, like three seconds alive. The Vi, they just turn into an off tank instead of more of a damage bruiser. He's more of an off tank bruiser now. And then we were just informed that was a Nasus, not a Nico. Ah, okay. I was gonna say, Nico. Although Nico was... top is still Ooh. very fine. Yeah. Y'all's comp is. Nutty. I like that. They're all, they're all blue and purple. It's pretty. Lots of damage from everyone on both sides. I'd say Lulu is gonna get bullied this game, but we'll see. Yeah, Hoagie, like Hoagie, Hoagie pilots Lulu very well, so like we'll we'll see what happens. Yeah. Uh, whenever it comes to wheels on the bus and, and Lulu, I, I'm not I'm not too afraid of that because honestly speaking, if if Zawardo uh, wants to play a really passive lane as a Sivir, it's gonna f it's gonna feels bad for sure because you're supposed to be like out aggressing and whatnot. But that's easily matched by the Morgana. Um, however, if they can get that Sivir to that three to four item spike, I think they have a really good chance of uh, of just picking up the pieces because as you said you know the engage option is really good but uh you know they have a lot of counter engage as well with the lulu with the Sivir, with the vladimir uh they can disengage pretty well as well as counter engage uh whenever they need to like the lulu doesn't exactly have to um you know the, the lulu has the polymorph option for the sejuani in uh high pressure situations she also has her ultimate that she can either ult Sivir when she's in danger or vi when she's engaging as the only engage option so there's there's a lot of flexibility still on TBR, but uh, it's it seems like it's more reactive than proactive more than anything else. I'm just a little worried for their mid to late game, especially with a LeBlanc and Vladimir against the Nasus. Once he builds like a Spirit Visage, I don't know who's gonna answer his split push while the rest of his team groups so. up. Hmm. They don't really have a great answer for that unless they like contribute way too many people towards him. A great answer for what? It's a Nasus pick, not a Nico. It's a Nasus pick, not a Nico. Yeah. Nasus, not That's a Nico. Saying, I don't know who's going to answer that. Later in the game, yeah. Yeah, uh, right now, it doesn't really seem as if anybody can really... Because Vladimir, in the in the later parts of the game, won't be able to really do anything. Well, he's going to want to group it. with Sivir Old and Vi. That's interesting. I just get, I get worried about this game past the 25 minute mark for TBR unless they have a pretty big lead. Well, you know, also to be honest, uh, the LeBlanc, if she does get to head, gets very, very scary. And will probably just get to the point where she can just one-shot the Morgana and the Kai'Sa. Uh, 
you know, with the with the right rotation of spells. So we are kind of downplaying Clumsy Chocobo's LeBlanc right now because LeBlanc <sighs> still puts out nutso damage in the mid game once she completes that Ludens Echo and you know maybe puts in a a, a fiendish code, uh, not a fiendish codex, a, a Morella Nomicon in her kit as well. Um, she she starts mm. to output a lot a lot of damage so if she can catch out on the few occasions that Sivan is by himself or if the Morgana is uh, trying to catch someone in rotation I think TBR will be very very successful in the mid game so as far as like answering you know a split pusher they really don't have one but if they can position themselves to try and pick someone off in a rotation uh, due to the wards warding is going to be very important here I think TBR can can kind of weather that storm. The um, the LeBlanc has the job of of basically popping the Black Shield and chunking Kaisa out so she can't team fight. But the issue is she's into a counter matchup herself, the Ari. So it's going to be very difficult for her to get ahead because Ari can shove her in all day, can charm her if she W's in ever, and just trade. Uh, better than LeBlanc can, especially after the nurse. Um, and then just she'll hit her power spikes later on into the game than she would have expected. So it'll be a tough one for TBR for sure. But if the LeBlanc is able to get ahead, I think they have this one in the bag. Nico is able to split normally because if LeBlanc doesn't do enough damage, Nasus. Vlad will have to group. But the Vlad, Nasus. oh yeah, the, the, the Nasus will, either one. Nasus being left alone in the lane, like what I'm saying is Vlad will most likely have to group up for these team fights, leaving Nasus to a lane to by yeah, himself. Yeah, him to team fight. So Nasus, as long as y'all is able to play around the Nasus and back off those team fights when Vlad tries to roam, Nasus will get a free lane, free pushing, free stacks. So it'll be good yeah. for them. Yeah, but it is true. they do have to survive that initial fight. Yeah, the four v five, the four v five potential without the Nasus from from y'all are n is nuts. I mean, you have the Ari that has the assassination potential and can also you know roam around. The Morgana ultimate with the uh, with the shackles is you know huge, and then you also have that beefy frontline of Sedjuani along with the ultimate uh, to engage and disengage as needed as well. Uh, so we're loading up into the game here. Uh, we're waiting for the spectator delay for about two minutes and thirty seconds. So uh, chat. We want to ask you, who do you think, you guys, um, who do you think will win this game? Do you do you think, uh, you know, TBR can uh, can make it happen with a LeBlanc pick and, uh, you know, kind of weather the storm? Or do you think y'all just with the superior, in my opinion, the superior team fight uh uh, comp will be able to pull this out so go ahead and get your hashtag TBR wins or hashtag y'all wins in the chat but uh, you know I'm going to ask my fellow co-casters Dustin who do you have for this one? Uh, I think I have y'all on this one both teams are really short range like we're not we don't have a Tristana we don't have a Caitlyn we don't have a Jinx I think the short range the inability to unless they have to go hard and tower dive inside of TBR makes it easier for y'all to get that split push going um, I think, in all, uh, I think, clumsy. Even though it's in a counter matchup, he has been popping off recently. I think he'll be able to come up on top, get the slight edge over Ari, and then once he has the slight edge over Ari, it becomes a nightmare for her. Um, so I'm gonna give this one to TBR. I. I am also going to give this to TBR. I think the potential is there, and I believe that they will be able to capitalize on it. They have the Vi, which, by the way, still does an insane amount of damage, has really good crowd control on her in a lot of these skirmish situations that they can put it up to there. And in the skirmish situations, that's where LeBlanc is really going to shine as well. So I... I also believe, I believe in TBR, and I believe they're going to go ahead and they're going to take yeah. this win and kind of uh, skirt around the team fight that y'all are going to try and make across the map. Uh, what I will say is they don't, uh, TBR do, does lack percent health DPS. That is true. No one on their team does percent health DPS, unless Siver decided to randomly go a Bork, which would be bad. So it's going to be very hard to pop the the front line which is going to be NASA Sedge um, and without popping the front line it's really hard to get to Kaisa so it's there's a lot of burden on Clumsy Chocobo at that point to be able to one-shot him 
And if they fall off that point where they can, and Steven's Kaisa is actually super nutty, play with it several times, it's one of his best ADCs, it will be a mountain to climb for them. Well, we're loading into the game here now. We're going to go ahead and uh, do a quick little pause uh, right before the game so that way we can all get matched up and whatnot. Uh, Bear, what time would you like to pause at? Uh, 10 seconds is fine. We'll do 10 seconds. All right, cool. So we're loading into the game here. Let's take a look at some of these mastery points. And, uh, ooh, yeah, Kaisa. Uh, Sivan on the Kaisa with uh, 800 and... 800 and... F 100... 185, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm having a stroke, uh, 185,000 points, uh, as well as, actually we didn't talk about it, Nate uh, is really well known for his Ari, uh, that's one of his main pickup champs, so uh, definitely be interested to see on what happens there as well, so we're loading up into the game here, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move the portraits, to make sure everything is nice and good. Um, it's stuck at zero for me. Yeah, I don't do uh, that for a little bit for spectator. I always just like click the right side of the screen and it starts like loading. Mm. Yeah. Oh, hey, also, uh, just to let you guys know, there is a spectator bug going on right now where the, uh, and I'm gonna pause. I'm at 10. Now. Yeah. I'm, I'm still loading, give me a sec. Uh, there is a spectator bug going around right now where uh, the announcement will happen, but no text will show up on the screen. Uh, just be aware that is a spectator bug. Uh, Riot can't really fix their client. It's too hard. Small indie company, uh, you know, whatnot. So, you know, just bear with us. We'll try and make sure that we keep up with whatever it is that's happening. And, uh, you know, we'll give yeah, you guys... Well. All right, uh, on go. So, three, two, one, and go. Alrighty uh, then. Where you guys at? Mine went back to zero for some reason. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, Alright, we'll stop at uh, 25. Alright, I'm, I'm at 26. Uh, okay. Alright, I'm at 26. This client is great sometimes. Yeah, a lot of the times. I'm at 26 now. Alright, on go. 3, okay. 2, 1, go. Seven, we're good. All right, now we're in it. Yep. Turn. Early on, we were gonna see both teams kind of rush into each other right here. Morgana's gonna nice find him. Hit by, but yeah, there's nobody to back it up right now. Just yeah. a five point, sort of. It's more of like yeah. a three point, but it works. Three point into three five point. point. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I actually really like this setup uh, from TBR because they they understand the the roam potential from uh, or rather the invade potential uh, from. Mm -hmm y'all so having that top laner a little bit closer than like all the way up there is uh is substantially safer quote unquote uh so i really do like that setup but it doesn't look like anything's really gonna come of it unless they do for late invades so it's kind of screwing but also is standing on a ward as well so. yeah. they scouted out on that ward so nothing really much is gonna come out of that so you know, pretty much uh standard starts here for the junglers yeah, so anyone who wants to start bottom side anyway, that Kaisa passive giving you that ridiculous leash early on really helps out slow tanks like her. Mm -hmm. And as you see here, Menbung uh, opted for the uh, Hail of Blades Vi. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I understand that's pretty meta right now, but uh, I've, I've seen a, I've seen a lot of aftershock Vi still. Yeah. Uh, I still think that's a pretty good option, but it may seem as if he's going to be a little bit more bruiser-ish rather than uh, rather than being a tank engage option mm -hmm. here. Uh, so we're definitely going to keep an eye out for that build and see what kind of enchantment he goes for his jungle item. Yeah, it's it's a kind of that solo queue get ahead mentality because if you look across pro players, about 75% of them are playing uh, Aftershock instead. Yeah. He'll waste so much damage early. Yeah. Oh, there's oh a lot of good on both sides. I already walks up way too close so has to flash away. Oof. Gets ignited, double flash chase, goes first blood, and they're not stopping. They're going for wheels on the bus. Wheels on the bus flashes away, gets away with a sliver of his health. Just was not respecting that level one right there from Morgana, and C Van just eating him up with the Q. Hmm. Yeah, he uh, unfortunate there for Zawari. Oh, a snipe attempt! Wilson must barely get to Wilson's life. Oh, wow. 
Uh, so yeah, a, a really unfortunate circumstance there for Eduardo. Stepped up in front of the minion and got the free bind. Sivir, uh, level 1, opting for the Q, which is what you're supposed to do, but doesn't have the spell shield available to be able to okay. block that. You cannot step up to a Morgana unless you have that spell shield available. And just a really big misstep, misstep there from Zawardo. And giving the first blood over to Sivan, that doesn't bode well already. Yeah, both flashes are down, so Menbunk could get an invade on that. While that was happening bot side, Menbunk went red to red stole, and now Cyrus is trying to return the favor and his enemy blue buff. But wisely yeah. walks away. They really had no vision, so this Menbunk is going to get triple buff on this start. Get a pretty good XP advantage. Hopefully get six and help out that bot lane. Yeah, man, already uh, some pretty, uh, pretty aggressive starts here as Nate misses charm and hits a minion. Clumsy Juggle missing the chain. I think he charmed oh. to get a last hit there. I could be wrong. He, he might have been predicting the W. Mm. Uh, but as we see here, uh, pretty... Uh, the Starbird's roaming towards the top side right oh, now. Wow. Oh! Quick one gets charm withered down. Yep, chunked up. Charm barely missing there. Would have been a kill. Yeah. Oh! Hillerman gets hit by Sejuani's Q has to flash away before the Aftershock proc hits Good flash. Uh, good flash, yeah. Really, really good flash there. Waited for Sir Everett's to commit on the uh, on the flay there, and was able to flash out of the uh, out of the range uh, once he knew that it wasn't going to hit him. Really good stuff there. Really good patience there from uh, Hillary Clinton. I think it's good awareness by Kaisa and Morgana to shove the lane and get priority before they have to deal with the spell shields from Sivir, so they could go for that early cheese, but now it becomes a little bit tougher for them because they have to pop the spell shield somehow before they engage, and it becomes a lot easier for Sivir to shove the lane, which has Q and W now. Yeah, and they lose Polymorph to help out. Mm. That's just taking a lot of damage topside in these trades right now. Actually, pretty long mana. He's using his E a lot more than I like to when I'm playing Nats topside. Yeah, he's trying to he's trying to keep the lane shoved for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But as a Nasus, I mean, you, you're kind of it's kind of a feels good moment if you're if your opposing top laner is pushing you constantly into your um, into your tower, oh, especially yeah. Vladimir, who doesn't exactly have a lot of uh, a lot of escapes other than like the blood pool. Uh, you kind of want to bait that as a Nasus. If you see a trade here going to the bot side, just a just a little trade. Just a little trade. I mean, really missed the route, or else like. Sivan uh, was, or Benblank was on the wing. Benblank finds Sejuani in the jungle. They're gonna fight here, but no one really backs them up. LeBlanc is hovering across the side. Both junglers walk away from each other there. They've got Slogger. Wilson the Bus actually chases towards Slogger, gets hit by a binding. Sivan is not chasing the Knight. It's back up. Wilson the Bus does get the Polymorph off. One more hit though, the kill goes over to Morgana. Oh, he has no mana. And now Zalrudo is in between oh! two enemies. What a spell shield, but it doesn't matter. Oh, it does not matter. Both kills go over to Morgana. Uh, as you see, there's a 2v2 fight, and the Sejuani gets caught out. It's hit by the Q and killed by Vi. End of that, that's a two for one trade, but double kill going over to Morgana. We've got a, an awkward 150 bounty on Morgana now. <laughs> no, but that was that was really, really close there by Zawardo. Um, got the spell shield on the, uh, on the Morgana binding, but however, just doesn't have the DPS available as yep. of right now. Uh, the passive from uh, from Kaisa just carrying her through that uh, uh, that extended team fight really mm -hmm. unfortunate there. Yeah. Oh, we've got pings coming in from Menbong here. They've overstayed their welcome. If you can get the, oh, they have no mana onto there. Yeah, kill him this log. Can keep chasing if he wants to. He does have flash as well, and Seafan does not have any summoners. Waiting for the come back up. The keeps back up in one second. Chooses not to chase though, even with the shield from Lulu. Yeah, but as you see here in the top lane, Iron Four Noob is ulting. Yeah, he pushed in, like I said earlier, he pushed in way too hard with his spirit fire. He's being forced to fight Vlad now. It's like like you were saying, Vlad's not great at poking under tower. Now Vlad gets like free pop shots with his key whenever he wants right here. Mm -hmm. Vlad has not gotten a reset off while Iron Fornoob has, but uh, there is a TP advantage for Vlad at the moment. But you really want to spend, like you have to get the early lead and buy, and buy your... Yeah, you need to spend your gold that you get from the early lead against Nasus or else he becomes unkillable. And then just keeps scaling, and then you have to worry about the time bomb top lane. Yeah, he looks like he wants to back for Sheen pretty soon now. He's sitting at about 750 gold. Vlad is a very good champ into Nasus because you get free scaling with Vlad, free lane to farm, and you can just absolutely decimate a team fight later on while Nasus is trying to split. 
But if the enemy team respects it enough, it's Nasus is also very good into that situation. Yeah, you see way too many resources yeah. on Nasus split. Because Vlad's never really going to solo kill him in lane, but so it allows him to scale. But Nasus has to worry about his team getting decimated by a Vlad team fight. Kaisa also demonstrating that she understands she wins extended trades versus this kind of lane. Oh yeah, where's the bus just walks way yeah, too far forward is here. Oh, oh, he's, oh he's no. Flash, he's flash the ult does not even go off on anyone besides that. Now Minimum's gonna hit him with that R. C-Van ults to get that small shield. He's getting chased by three enemies right now. Gets Polymorph. Kill goes over the top. Great, door. Clean two great they patience. Lane, trying to clean this fight up. Menbung holding the Q as long as humanly possible for the like just being patient, knowing that he doesn't have to release it right away. That leads to the flash being a little too shallow because he didn't Q right away. So and then wisely yeah. saving that assault and battery for after they get the kill on Morgana as well. Whoa, Nate did not have enough Clumsy Chocobo was here. Clumsy Chocobo is gonna jump in, gets charmed though. Nate has to pop the flash to get away. Hmm. Yeah, oh. the, the flash and the uh, well, no, not the flash, just the uh, the yeah, spirit so. push there. Well, Iron for noob, yes. Why is he gonna back here? He doesn't have TP. I'd like to see Vlad shove this in, try to get some platings. At the same time, Sejuani is in his jungle. Sejuani might be trying to ping this here, but Iron for noob doesn't even have enough mana to wither right now, so I don't. I'm not crazy about this two v one opportunity. But he actually gets hit by Sejuani. He pulls late. Uh, Nas is out of mana. Cannot wither and follow that. I'm actually really surprised uh, Hillary Clinton didn't go uh, didn't go aggressive on that. And that's just not having the uh, not having the mana to really do anything other than like if she if he wanted to wait until he casted the wither that's fine. But then he's out of mana, so he didn't have access to the Q, the ultimate, the spirit fire, or anything else like that. So it's respecting uh, the sedge damage most likely. That is yeah, very on, high. Damage is really it's, lame if he gets stunned. it's very hard to yeah Q at the right moment, especially against CC. But yeah, I agree. I agree. He probably could have fought that. Okay. If he had mission, he could have ult then pulled and really turned that fight around. Yeah. So as we see here in the bot lane, a, uh, a nice little gold lead there for Sivan, about a 15 uh, CS gold lead early on. But Menbug just relentless right now. Yeah, he is all over the map. Showing you why Vi is very, very strong this current. Oh, map. he's got opting for the Trinity Force Vi. It looks like. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, they do not want this game to go late right now. He's just ganking every lane possible. Uh, oh, we've got a death rush going down bot lane right now. They, they, <laughs> they did this to me it. like seven times in a row. <laughs> oh, does not know. He wants straight into that Morgana Q. He is not going to get out of this fight at all. I know how it, yeah. I know how it feels, no one. Anyway, yeah. Should have just saved that old there. But yeah, at that point, you've got Sivir, you've got Lulu. Someone's going to have to do a Q in the enemy bush anytime you don't have vision there, in my opinion. Yes, indeed. I forgot to do that once. I tried to ward it and had to burn my flash because of it. They were playing on Nami and and uh, I forget what the ADC was that game. If it's yeah, Nami, it doesn't matter anyway. This yeah. is a pretty feels bad lane for Hillary Clinton oh. right now. Yeah, yeah instantly oh, gets wow. dove in bottom side from wheels in the bus. Gets hit by mm. the Morgana binding. Ignited. The kill goes over to Kaisa for that left. Oh. I'm talking about gets ignited. Oh. Flash out, Nate is chasing him, gets that last auto attack on. At the same time, Very good, Nate. trying to do dragon. It's dragon. Such a one, he flashes uh. behind him, actually. If Nate can throw a Q out, it will end up killing. Nate charms away the vine. It's Very good plays by the Ari there. Good dragon by Menbung to capitalize on their lack of vision there. Yeah. Menbung's trying to put the team on his shoulders right now. Soul is the dragon. Tries to one join Sedge one as well and gets cleaned up by Nate. Was that shutdown gold? Yeah, that's a lot of shutdown gold. I'm not a, entirely sure because they are behind so shutdown gold. Shutdown gold's only, a little bit 150. weird. 150. 150. Yeah, okay, so 450 total there, but not so bad for shutdown gold purposes. And he doesn't build up any more shutdown gold now, but yeah, it's still going sad. over to the Ari, who is already up on 12 CS, which is basically another kill. So she's up about yeah, two kills in gold, gold now. Too, yeah. Oh, almost completing that Luden's echo as well. Really good stuff, really, really good stuff. And I was, I was, I was saying uh, a little bit earlier how uh, this uh, this lane now for Hillary Clinton feels really bad. Iron Four Noob on the NAS is already having the Spectre of Cowl along with the Sheen, so he does the damage and is able to mitigate the damage from Vladimir at the exact same time. Hillary Clinton looking looking like he's going to go for that Proto Belt start is not going to be able to. 
push through that early uh, that early magic resist from the Spectre's Cal. So at this point, I think... I mean, Swerver's getting caught out in that top side river right now. The chain is going to connect. Mine's going to come in with the Q. So much damage. Yeah. Yeah. They that. might get cleaned up oh, here. I not agree with the right here. Oh, that's the charm does not land. Yeah. battery instantly on the Nasus. Plus 12. They have nothing to clean up Nessa. Nessa's is huge with the ult running straight at them. If they can get a charm here, then charm nice for LeBlanc. Pulls them back in. LeBlanc has to wisely jump away. Now it's 2v1. Hypno Clinton's doing damage, but he's getting chunked down by every single Nessa. He's getting chased. I'm afraid he was out of mana, though. This Nessa's does not care. I yeah, love it. He knows that Ari is behind him, giving him the cover that he needs. Plus 12. Like, Give me the plus yeah, 12, he says. He wants it, no, he now he's going to AFK his teammate. He didn't get the plus 12. <laughs> Yeah, the really smart catch on Sejuani. I think Sean used the ult. used the ult a little bit too quickly on Sej. They didn't have it for the rest of that fight there. Then focusing Nasus, he just did not take any damage when they were trying to like 3v1 him. But at the end of the day, yeah, it's a 2 for 1. Oh, that's a that's a Glacial Augment Morgana. I just realized that. I thought it was oh, here. No, it's, it's good, especially with that Twin Shadows rush. Uh, and then I'm, I'm sure she'll probably uh, I honestly, like, I don't know. If they're playing for a team fight, they don't necessarily need the, that kind of pick potential. And if people respect the Twin Shadows, I think that item's pretty useless. But at the same time, it gives them objective control a little better. I, I'm a big fan of Redemption. Or, or and or Azania's rush from Morg because she really needs either of those for the team fight potential or she just gets one shot but I've seen Twin Shadows work if she can pull it off more the more power to to him TBR is really trying to fast forward this laning phase right now but even with all the towers still up they're constantly trying to chase into the rivers for vision we're trying to pick out Morg right there 3v1 with to pretty much no avail though we got Dragon in about 90 seconds. I don't think it's a great Dragon fight for TBR to be taking right now. Iron Fortnite is kind of chasing down Hillary Clinton like you were saying earlier, Smash. Not feeling great. And actually, Vi is going to get caught by Servix. Well, Servix. No. This is deja vu what we just saw about 90 seconds ago. Servix is going to end up dying again to Clumsy Chocobo. This time he doesn't have his teammate to pick it up. Iron Four Noob is you know, still pushing though. He does not care about the enemy team coming. He's about to walk himself in a 3v1 situation here. There's no ignite up from LeBlanc, but a red buff from Vi. Yes, yeah, very smart early ult from Vlad. We couldn't get hit first. He's not hitting the correct target there. He us over to Mendel. I'm not sure why Nasus kept pushing there after his uh, jungler died. Well, that's what needs to happen. He was a little overconfident there. He understood that he just had uh, the 2v3. He, he, was, he was a big factor in winning that 2v3 a little bit earlier. So he thought, hey, you know what? I can 1v3 a little bit easier. I have my phage. I have a lot of components of my... Uh, of my journey force, let's go ahead. I have ultimate and everything else. But on the on the other side, Menbung is just as uh, is just as fed right now. Four and two on the fire with that warrior enchantment. So uh, that magic resist isn't going to really work out for you all that well, buddy. Yeah, he's sitting on my thirteen hundred gold too, so he will have that sheen when he recalls. He pretty close to finishing that triforce. Ooh, we, got, we just flash. did not stop fighting this top side river here. Nate ults forward, we cannot find Menmon, gets that charm now, and no one to follow up. Menmon takes a ton of damage, but Anti's back with an assault of battery, goes ult for ult. Nate is super low, the health is ticking down way down to this ignite. We got the last tick of it right there, the one gets a nice Ooh. shutdown. And now it's a one for one, they're gonna keep chasing. Sejuani does not have the damage to fight these two carries right now. Just gonna walk that board down the river, hopefully he can not get six out. LeBlanc jumps over, throws a cube, and nothing else. And that's just. Oh, oh wow. flash over the wall looking for Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton, regen some health here. He's getting chased down though. Oh, very Good smart pull under his tower. Good He's got the wave clear list, so he can't get chased down by these two. Yeah, honestly, the Sejuani was dead in that scenario, mm -hmm. except uh, Clumsy Chocobo missed the ethereal chain, uh, kind of wide to the wide to the right there. Uh, so Sejuani was. want a tower dive top here. Uh, I I agree with it. You should. Yeah, they got the Moth Rock down. Hillary Clinton does have the pool. Oh. Actually, pulls a little early. Not the greatest energy between the two ults right there, but now Nessus is super slow. Oh, run away! Oh, smart flash on the Red No, goes back in the Oh, he got him! He gets a kill with E. That is not a plus 12, but does get finished to kill off. Morgana is running straight to top lane. Menbong has to walk away from these three enemy champions here. But yeah, it was just not the greatest synergy between the Vlad pool and the Lulu ult right there. It kind of just negates the duration of it.
Yeah, it's, it's constant fighting top side there. And while that happened, really smart from the bottom for the bot lane from y'all to get that dragon secured up for them. They've got an ocean drink now, which is huge on NASA's split push. Got a request from chat to organize the rolls. I'm on it. I always forget. Sorry. Oh, but we see Rift Herald here in the middle. He's gonna be taking down this middle tower. They have it. No one to respond to. Yeah, it's such a money, really. Oh, oh wow, Soul Battery 4. Soul Battery is caught out of position yet again. Gets killed up by the AD carry. Actually, gonna be kill traded. He even shows up. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry, I didn't change the names at the top on this one. I'll change that real quick. Sorry, guys. Yeah, at the tower there, Smart Rift Herald, they went just a little bit too ham on that Sejuani, who is now 0-4, but is a tank. C-Van is 4-1, we've got 4-2 on Nate as well. The carries are looking very strong from this side of y'all. Yeah, I mean, C-Van is, uh, is about to complete, uh, what is that, what is that second item that he's pulling up right now? A Recurve Bro and a... Uh, Rage Blade. Oh yeah, he's, he's about to complete that, that Rage Blade here in a little bit. Has 500 gold bounty on him as well. Hillary Clinton still not yeah, in the first item range as well. Right there. Yeah. Let me looking for a catch. Oh! oh. Himself, a nice kiss from Ari instead though. He's trying to straight in. Now they want to fight. That's his going in. Oh, they're winning they're it! Going, yeah, they killed the support. Iron 4 Noob finishes the kill off on as well. For, and then he gets finished up by Sivir. They're getting chased down. What looked really good for them, they got a ridiculous charm on LeBlanc, but LeBlanc still had her ult, and was able to get away from that by doing that W ult. They does get a plus 12 in that fight, and they do trade one for one, two for one, and the tower. And we're going to answer this mid tower yet again, though. What an even game right now. Yeah, and not only that, the wild growth on uh, from wheels on the bus. Saving, way clear from Nate. Yes, uh, saving. Uh, clumsy chocobo there, but Hillary Clinton's getting caught out again. Mm -hmm. But he does have the flash. He's got regen with his Q. Oh, oh man bung is what a man bung. How dare you Run step into my dojo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right now that ult is on a 60 second cooldown. It's always up basically. If you're any immobile carry, you just have to respect that. You can't be farming that far up. Yeah, Kaisen Especially needs to stand next to her Morgana. Mm -hmm. Or vice versa. They were answering mid right there. So yeah, Menbong is just trying to crowd the troops. And look at Clumsy Chocobo, what a comeback. He was 0-1, now he's 5-2. and two. He's wisely just following Vi wherever she goes and really cleaning up the scraps and getting a kill or an assist at least. And that's what that's what it's gonna have to take, as Bear uh, said earlier in the uh, in Champ Select. If if uh, if Clumsy Chocobo can just get to that point where he just one-shots um, one shots the Morgana, or the uh, or the Ari, or the uh, uh, or the Kaisa, even through the Morgana Black Shield, it's gonna it's gonna be a really really feels bad moment for those champions. Oh, Zawardo, very nice spell shield, but the augment just yeah, slowing that, this down. Yeah, giving me a heart attack. That was close. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard, even with Kaisa having items, for her to kill Sivir and Lulu in the back line. It's just such a hard combo to take on. So she can kill the front line right away, but if she if her team starts to get picked off by the uh, LeBlanc, it becomes a very tough one for her. And that nice foul rush on Sejuani is going to stunt her being a tank for at least another about 10 minutes here. Especially if he goes that Righteous Glory second. Yeah. But uh, but now, now that we've seen what Menbung is going for, this warrior in chat Triforce Vi, they have no front line on the side of uh, of TBR. So if y'all can really start to capitalize on that and get these extended team fights through, the Nasus isn't even splitting right now. I don't understand why he's there with the team. He should be off in another lane. Has the TP available? Uh, kind of questionable as to why he's uh, he's grouped around his team uh, right now. When he it's a, it's honestly out. with the with the infernal Drake, he knows yeah, there's going to be a big team fight breaking out. Dark, it's dude. okay for him to be there, and then he can TP back, back to the lane. Actually, you know, the, the dragon's getting taken down. It's taken by Sejuani. We're going to see a huge fight though. I have four new walk forward. He's walking forward with four enemies. There's no one in his team to do DPS. Gets eaten up by Vlad. Now it's a five v four. They're going to try to chase down the chart. Takes Menbug away. Let me talk about chunks down. Slash slash. Oh, he's oh. Going. I'm going right to the back of the club. Goes in, but he gets killed by the enemy team. The fighting does not stop. They're trying to kite it out. Look at C-Van. Now C-Van is doing tons of damage from the back of the row. Oh, but Clumsy. Has a tick of health left. Oh, the snipe oh. hit them right in the back. They... <sighs> yeah, TBR overcommitting. 
Well, he's still alive. He could get this pick right here. Oh, no, Penta for you. Pentas are deserved. They should have taken the Nasus kill and then rotated over to Baron to pinch, to just pressure vision right there. They don't necessarily need to even start the Baron. They just need to wait for y'all to come walk up to it and then kill them when they try to ward it. Yeah. Or they, they kind of just like went mid, the honestly, 4v5. Yeah, yeah, or just push with Sivir. Yeah, exactly, and zone them off the mid lane. They overcommitted on the fight. Kaisa is able to kite backwards and just clean everyone up because that's exactly what Kaisa wants to do. Kaisa ends up dying for an overcommit after the fact, so that's pretty good shutdown gold going over to TBR. But the overall, the Infernal Drake going to y'all, so a trade in their favor. They're continuing to scale with their scaling comp, which is the Nasus Kaisa comp, so. Yeah, 4v4 is good at the end of the day, but then a 4v4 with a quadra on your hyper carry and carry means you come out just tenfold ahead of the other team in that exchange. And not only that, that was 400 gold going over to the LeBlanc, who absolutely needs it a lot more in order to get back into this game as he almost picks off Slaga Slash. Oh, he's no, he vision here. Does. He gets decimated. Holy mo- Alright, clumsy- clumsy's nuts. Yeah, he said you're the clumsy one, I'm the chocobo, and just stomps all over him. He's just jumping again, he is just reckless right now with that damage. Oh, Vlad is going towards Steven, Steven has to actually just go away from the fight completely. I'm just trying to fight four people yet again, he does not have his DPS with him. They're just not the right page right now, whenever Nazis goes in, the team is going out. Yeah, right now this Lulu is enabling TBR so well. Lulu hitting these wild growths onto LeBlanc, which in most scenarios, uh, LeBlanc is being caught out, but the wild growth is just giving her that little bit of extra oomph in order to survive those trades, uh, soak up a lot of just the resources from y'all, and then get out of there with the same uh, with the same platform. Mm -hmm. So really good stuff there from uh, from Super Hoagie and Clumsy Chocobo. They have to be on the same page in order to pull that kind of stuff off. Off. So really, really good shout outs to them. And like you, we talked about, it was probably about, what was it, three or four minutes ago during that dragon fight, Iron Four Noob still has his TP up. I'm not sure why he's trying to force fights right now. He's only sitting at, how many stacks is that? 438 stacks in about 25 minutes, pretty standard. And then Vlad wisely rushed Morello, which means the team fights is not great for Nasus right now. The Grievous Wounds made him die pretty quickly. Yeah, like I said, y'all needs to go for the safe, Group is four, kite backwards with Kaisa, while Nasus continues the split pressure, enforcing the Vladimir back into his lane. And then they go for the team fight 4v4. Because LeBlanc struggles in team fighting. She can only pick you off before the fight, but during the fight it's very hard for her to do much, except for the double uh ult and uh, W into ult combo. And now they're finally realizing that they probably calm down in their comp. And you guys, this is not our win condition. We're just running straight into a team with a go button. We're setting Nasus bottom. No one has answered it yet. Nasus is stacking down bot side. They're gonna try to find a fight here. Come check about does a little bit of damage, Slaga Slasha. Really trying to pick almost, someone off. Yeah, they're gonna fight the guy doing now, but Menbong is waiting in the jungle to see if anyone's gonna face check here. Yeah, a, a really big indicator right now is that Clumsy Chocobo can almost break a black shield with his uh, his Q Ethereal Chains combo. Doesn't even need the W in order to do that, so Saga Slasha needs to really, really be careful in these kind of scenarios. He cannot walk up as uh, as freely as he is uh, as he's used to right now. Yeah, mm -hmm. this, this is part of the game where a lot of supports die in solo queues. They're trying to look for too deep a vision. And yeah. geez, it's, we're right back to where we were. Five minutes oh. ago, back in Dragon again here. It's a death push coming up from the side of y'all. This is smart though. Mm -hmm. Oh, Menbug's looking for the ward. If he gets hit by the, it, whoa. Good awareness. He dodges everything. What a man. Nice double. Oh. Damage from the block as well. It's already was in front though. It's not where they wanted to be. Nasus is yet again trying to fight. Two be wanting Menbug and the Vladimir gets hit by that assault and battery. Oh. Oh, oh. it's a healing blow. Oh. oh no. This is too the much raid damage. boss. Raid boss! Oh, double kill for Nasus. He was so low, but that regen from the Spirit Visage. Barudo is now kiting back. They can, he can actually get these two kills right now if he wanted, but his support is dead. Kaisa's gonna fly in now. Dun da da! And that is a clean ace. All they trade is their one raid boss for that. That's a five for one. Dragon's up. They've got a wave oh. bot side as well. I, th see Van's health. I think. I think. that red boss. I think what TBR wanted to do there, it was it it was kind of. Like, if they killed the Nasus, it would have been a lot better there, but, uh, unfortunate, that's, like, really what Nasus wants you to do is, is to focus him like that while his team stays alive and that, and is able to clean up the rest of the fight. 
uh, he drew two people that were crucial to win that fight and clumsy absolutely decimated the back line right away could have it could have gone a lot better if the vi was there and the vlad uh or the uh was it siver with the vi there or vlad it was vlad right no, no, it was, uh, the vlad yeah if the vlad and the vi would have cr like changed that fight a ton um, they could have given given lane pressure to Nasus for a second while they while they won that fight, but it was hard to tell that that was even going to break out because they got cheesed right away. So yeah. it was tough. Good good on y'all for recognizing that and committing to the fight. Well, Hillary Clinton's build, these two items first, it's just not huge burst, not huge damage. They should have known they don't have enough to stop Nasus from just regening with that ult with that Q. Honestly, they would have won that 4v4 after the catch. Speaking of catches, come and talk about throws another leash on a Slaga. Slaga has to use that Zanya's. Yeah, and and so now Clumsy Chocobo has now proven that he can now uh, that he can now break the Black Shield with just the Q Ethereal Chains combo. Oh, from oh. Chocobo's on the wrong side there, gets knocked up so much damage from one Nasus Q. Walks away. Nasus is running in now. Oh, oh you don't want to fight in a corridor versus yeah, Sivir. They, they need to get out of here. Now Kaisa is just doing so much damage to them. Yeah, they're gonna chase them down. So the team with the go button is actually okay. saying, let's get the hell out of here as they run away. The other team has free reign of Baron now. Silver gets, oh, nice shield to stop that. Morgana keeps hitting him, but now he's not, will be up, not be up for the fight. Baron is ticking down to stay out there. Menbong the hero is trying to see if he can get one final hero play. Oh, they wisely get him. off he of it, yep. Him. Now they're just going to chase him down, gets hit by the smite. The blast comes away. We do have Nasus wow. chasing Leash on the dog. Come talk about trying to do a little bit of damage. But really fancy oh, from Menbong getting to fight there, but yeah, come talk about trying to help his teammate out. He's going to end up dying. Oh, yeah. gets away with the ult. Menbong goes back in. This is not the fight that they want. Now they're just going to get cleaned up now. Yeah, miscommunication there. Huge miscommunication. Clumsy Chocobo should have just said that he was he was all right because he had the flash. Menbug didn't have to really. Oh, yeah, also, like just in that scenario, I mean, it, yeah, in that scenario, I mean, your your mid laner dies, which is which is one thing, but you're the jungler. You need to be around in order to uh, to contest the Baron. And now they have no uh, they have no real contest for this Baron, and y'all can just go ahead and pick that up really quick on their way back. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, just the issues that Vi sees after about mid to late game. Like I said in that pregame, it's past 25 minutes. I'm very scared for TBR now. Everything is online that needs to be for y'all. Some talk about does a ton of damage to Nate. Gets hit by the charm, but might still be able to clean the kill up. Nate is ticking down. Gets hit by one last attack and is killed. Oh, clean binding though from Slaga Slash. Uh, it's that kill on him. Uh, they stopped they the, Baron, the Baron momentarily. Actually, it didn't fully reset though. It's at 4k hell. Yeah, with Kaisa trying to go up, Menmon gets hit by a binding. They don't want to fight. Kaisa wanted to, but the rest of the team doesn't. Nasus is, is kind of stuck in the pit here. The old is back up, though. He has no mana. Oh, great bait. If possible, Zaruido could be able to clean this fight up really nicely. They're so low. Can he get finished off the Nasus? Nasus doesn't have enough mana to get any more cues off. But here comes Kaisa. Oh, here comes Sever. Oh, one more hit, one more hit. Oh, he changed focus. <laughs> Yeah, he wanted Too to clean up that support, but uh Engage focus, no. <laughs> We've got super minions trying to finish the game on their own right here, to hit up a Nexus turret during all of that chaos. Hmm. After all said and done, y'all does get away with that Baron on two people. Yeah. And almost ace them twice, actually. They have just scaled like enough and it just becomes harder and harder and harder for this LeBlanc to pick anyone off solo or, or before the fight. With all these defensive items coming out, Morgana getting the Zanyas to stay alive, and more AP, so her Black Shield is even harder to pop. Yeah, and Kaisa now getting the... Uh, the Kaisa GA, yeah. HP items from the two Bruisers, and then Ari is just has the uh, Morellanomicon and a charm, so it's really hard to jump on her as well. Yeah, it actually took LeBlanc two full rotations of abilities to even kill Ari in that last fight and barely get away from that mm. before ending up getting killed by Morgana, which, if that's your easiest target to kill, this is problematic. It's very problematic. You're right. She has to get another huge W into our combo onto the backline somehow oh, and Sivir roll over the fight. Dark binding while trying to get Here it comes, though. Yeah, now Lulu 
here comes Kaisa, TP. This is gonna probably be the fight that will finish the game off right yep, here. Yep, nice right. Nice yeah. finish off there. Lodger looking for the Penta yet again. Deja vu. Corey Clinton says, I do not want to give you this Penta and runs straight back to his fountain. C-Van is yeah. nutty on that Kaisa. It is, it's a pretty good, yeah, as very as good for pick, him. As soon as he got the pick, he wisely just jumped straight in. Hey, they don't know that Black DP here. They don't, there. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. Wait, who disconnected? The Vlad. The Vlad went straight back to the base. Oh. So they yeah, could, but it all no, almost no, said no, no, done. No, 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 no. The so game was over running. anyway, so... No, 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 it, it's not BM. It's, it's so that way he gets the, the armor and the resistance from... Yeah, so he can't kill him, yeah, so yeah, he so he's like 500 armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Genius. 5,000 IQ waits not to give up a pen. <laughs> Alright, so, in any case, uh, really good game there from both y'all and TBR. Hey, that was really, really cool for a lot of that game it mm -hmm. definitely had little bits and little lights of tbr just that much closer to just finishing off the game a couple of just pretty substantial mistakes in the mid game is what caused this like little 10k 11k uh uh swing in, in favor of y'all but for the longest part it was it was very very much even uh but we do have to start talking about mvps uh, we'll talk a little bit more about game one uh, a little bit later here uh bear do you have the straw pull up or do you need me to make it uh can you make it uh i can make it okay so uh mvp dustin what are your thoughts um it just has to be kaisa in my opinion it was their win condition the positioning as well it's just always an ever present issue like for why they didn't completely commit to winning that game for the side of TBR. So much mm -hmm. damage, 287 CS, 18k gold. Mm -hmm. I believe Kaligi already won with 32 votes, oh, even though we only have 14 people in the it, chat. Let it die. <laughs> uh, all right, and uh, well, Bear, what is, what is your actual uh, vote here? Uh, my vote, let's see. Hmm. Solid bindings from the Slag of Slasher there. Kaisa with the, uh, the obviously the damage carry and finishing off all the kills, but um, all around good effort from everyone. Nasus raid boss taking on two people at the, at the start of a team fight. It's really hard to say. I'm gonna have to give it to my boy C-Van though. It's, uh, you gotta look at that KD. Let's look at the damage charts. Let's look at these graphs. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll pull up this even on the stream. So much, Hold on, yeah. stream. Yeah, Kaisa one damage, therefore MVP. Can't beat Easy that math. Should have played Xerath top, would have won an MVP. Oh, uh, hey, Bear. What up? Uh, here, I'll send. Uh, well, uh, get the straw poll link on, on your stream chat and then spam it. I, I can't spam it because. Uh, yeah, um, like, time time yeah. I think so. I think Light Pulse posted it. It's me. Yeah. Oh, that's you. I'll spam yeah. it. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. yeah Cause I'm the oh, only one gee. that can spam it. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. All right. So there you go. That's the game one MVP straw poll. If you guys can get your votes. I have to change in. the. Uh, okay, we're good. All right, so interesting. We actually see uh, some votes here from Iron Four New, uh, two votes actually, and one vote for uh, C Van, one vote for Slaga Slasha uh, as well on the Morgana. Uh, in my opinion, I I actually got to give it to C Van as well. I mean, it's Kaisa, you know, one of the staples of his champ pool. Uh, like Bear says, pretty nutty on that champion, and it really shows. They had the dominance of that bot lane very very early into the game and just put that sivir on a back on the back foot not really you know letting her be able to establish pressure in the bottom lane or get a lot of the uh the lane priority as well uh honestly speaking the only reason why that why that lane uh went even remotely even was just menbung's constant pressure both in the mid lane and the uh and the bottom lane as well just being all over the map and trying to you know keep his lanes from uh from getting into a bad spot uh so i honestly have to give it to c van here uh just really really good showing here on the kaisa it's three to three right now still get your votes cast in chat if yeah, you want to like be 18 heard 18 of you guys in chat what's your problem well i'm assuming some people 
are not going to vote, but that's fine. That's literally your civic duty. I, w I don't understand. <laughs> this is it's okay. We can have crazy. a split MVP this this game, but we'll wait. <laughs> we'll wait. Yeah, we'll wait until like pick ban for next game. Yeah, we'll we'll wait for a little uh, for a little bit here. Thirteen viewers in the chat. Make sure to get your votes in, and uh, we will. We're gonna take a little bit of a break here, and uh, we'll come back with uh, game two of uh, TBR versus y'all. So uh, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Ending the stream. You. Peace.